Hey everyone, today we are in the Anathema. This is the medium difficulty um, shard zone for uh, Everfrost. Okay, first we have to do something about that guy. Let's go over here. He's like, What's up, Mr. Grothark? And he's all like, Get the fuck out. Hmm. Can't go that way. Let's go. Oh, wait. Just, in, just to be safe, let's waste some money. Yay. Oh, my eye itches. Ooh. Ooh. Go away, smoke. Okay. Oh, I remember this one. A dark malevolence. Oh, don't get too close to those things, by the way. They, uh... I think they put a debuff on you. Or some sort of detrimental, anyways. Is that part of the artifacts? Yes. This is the daily shard quest. I picked it up before I came in here. We need to find an unfortunate hand, an unfortunate head, a breast, a shield, a sword, and a leg. Guess we should go to KFC if we're looking for a breast and a leg. Scarred zombie. This is, um, these are fragments of Miracle's mind for like going through the past and seeing the sort of shit that he, um, went through and dwells upon because that's what he does is he dwells upon stuff. Oh, there we go. Oh, I remember that. Uh, what did that do? There's a item you can use on it and it what did it do I've never actually needed it because I've done this only way it's supposed to be done but I, apparently if you like if you log out and log back in or something like that there's an item that you get later on that if you use this it'll it'll open up a path that would have closed had you logged out or something like that basically it's a, a fail safe I just for the urns here, as I recall. If you break all the urns, you will release the boss monster, which I believe was a beholder. Or was it a gazer? Or what's the difference? Hmm. Oh yeah, I think you have to kill these first and then you can release the urns. It's been a long time since I did this zone, so I'm kind of relearning it as I go. Yay! Oh yeah, there's one of those things. Don't get close to it because that happens. It's a trap. You can disarm the traps if you get just close enough to click on them, but just avoid them. Easier. Hmm. There we go. Have the deepest wounds ever closed without a jagged scar. Sure, that's what that's what having a cleric in the party's for. So now we know what Miracle's problem was. He didn't have a healer. He was an idiot. Oh, the boss spawned. Uh, hard boss, as you can see. So once you break enough of the urns, the um, the boss is released, and then um, your mercenary turns around and kills it for you because that's how mercenaries roll. Those aren't fists, dumbass. Those are swords. But hey, he's undead. He doesn't have a brain. Okay, now as I recall, 
these guys keep spawning? No, those little guys, the little white ghosts, the children, I guess, they keep respawning and they will... I think they spawn one of these on you if they make contact. Yeah, I got the unfortunate breastplate. Now for this boss, what we have to do is get feared. Fuckers came up behind me. Okay. You see, there's a boss up here that we have to fight, but we can't fight him yet because we have to spawn him. Oh, I hate getting feared. I really do. Fear is a really stupid detriment because you run away slowly. You're scared. Why would you saunter away? That's just stupid. Its only purpose is to piss me off. Which it does pretty well, especially when I'm immune to fear. There are bosses that can fear Misty. Misty has fear immunity. I find that absolutely infuriating. Don't give me immunity to a status effect if it's not true immunity. That's just dumb. But then again, that's what happens when you're dealing with a group of programmers who don't speak the language that they should have been born native speakers of. Gotta take care of the boss in each one of these mausoleums. Hmm? Are you engaging something? Where are you? Okay. Once again. Uh oh. I got too close. Bloodsucker. This guy life drains as I recall, but um well, you'll see. Not that big of a deal as you can see. Oh, he also uh, does something that stuns you. Soul paralysis. A nice finishing move just to piss you off once again. Luckily it's not too smoky today so everything isn't California flavored like yesterday. Now we need this. Retrieve the arms. Arms not as in like weapons, arms as in like the things attached to your shoulders. Yeah. Remember, Miracle was a necromancer and an asshole. Hey, you. Self loathing. See, Miracle even knew he was an asshole and he doesn't appreciate that fact. Okay, down here we gotta fight another one. And there she is. It's a drider. Or a drachnid, if you want to use the proper Norathian terminology. Hi! In case you're wondering, I am level 100, but I'm currently level 55. Ooh, I got Drachnid Silk, cool. Oh, I haven't started the course yet? I thought I had started the course on her. Damn. Oh well. Now we go, we pick up the rest of the parts. And there's the rotting legs. Yummy! We're gonna we're gonna make a zombie golem thing. All right, let's go over here and talk to this jackass. Look who it is! It's Miracle himself. What's up, dude? Ah, these are excellent. Stand back as I make the adjustments. Happy to, really. And now the boss will spawn down in that pit. It's a the flesh column thing. Ah, failed again. And like trash, I discarded to begin anew. 
Now he has like a thing where he emotes and if you stop him he will not heal as I recall. But um, once again you'll see in a moment. Not a big deal. Unfortunately, I don't actually speak to Jake on this character. Uh, as I recall, he screams something like, why did you do this to me? And when he does that, that's when he wants to stun him or whatever. Stun him, knock him down, throw him through the ceiling, light him on fire, kick him in the face, tap dance on his nuts, whatever it takes. Just don't let him do his little thing. He starts to regenerate, I, as I recall. Ah, now my eye really itches. Woo! Someone doing a voodoo on me right now? Because that seriously felt like something just stabbed me in the eye. Kapow! Hmm. Okay, now that we've taken down that guy, we should. Whoops. Oh, they stunned me. God damn it. Get off me, jackasses. Perhaps the corpse isn't fresh enough. Or perhaps it's too fresh. Hmm. Good old Miracle. Remember, kids, he was one of the Ethernauts. Okay, that spawns this. Light the fuse and kick the barrel. Now remember, explosions go up, so we just basically blew his crotch apart. Hence the resentment. All right, now we can do the rest of the zone. Oh, I didn't show you the map. This is the map. Behold, the zone. It's not much of a zone. Ooh, I got the sword. Penitence. Apparently he regrets being a douche. But it's all he knows so he doesn't change. Hey Miracle, I don't feel sorry for you. I don't understand why she sings at us like the Valkyries do from the Crucible. Or not Crucible, the other one. Um, the easy mode. She uses a Valkyrie um, vocal emote. It's kind of weird. Fear and doubt. All his negative emotions. Why don't you stand there? Do something. Jerk face. Remind me to apply as a mercenary because they have the cushiest job in the world. They don't do a damn thing and they get well, a ton of money. Okay, this one. Okay, you see these little whatever's the glyphs on the sides? Okay, what you gotta do is gotta go over here. Watch out for the floating eggs, those are traps too, obviously. Disarm that trap. That's a good way to disarm the trap. Set it off and take it in the face. Alright, so look at these. Red is um, this little thing. So let's go over to red. Where are you at? Right there you are. Gotta line them up to this. Red is, I think it, is it that one? Let's turn left. 
Turn this one on left as well. And left again. That's not what I want. She just turned it right. Okay, if it does that, you're good. Yay, it did that. You gotta do it for all four, obviously. Let's look at yellow. Yellow it ow. Yellow is that funky little thing. Stuff looks like kanji. Okay, that's the one we want, so turn you to the right. Cha -ching. Behold the power of getting it right. And blue is that one. That one doesn't remind me of kanji. The stuff of nightmares. You're gonna have to turn this one to the left. Cool. Turn the top to the right. I always like this puzzle, it was pretty cool. Green, what's green look like? Uh, okay, zoom in a little bit. Uh-huh, okay. Green, oh yeah. Let's turn you to the right. Let me go take another look at it just to be sure. Okay, I don't know why it makes me think of a fireball. A green fireball. Mouse, can you stop that? That also makes me think of a fireball, but not the right one. Turn you to the left. Turn you to the left. And that should do it. Now, the cool part about this is these little spirits that we're going to have to fight would be the party members. See, there I am. I'm not in a party, however, so... Oh, it doesn't even take into account mercenaries. That would have been kind of cool if Key were in here because I could beat the other living fuck out of her. Anyways, now you got to defeat your party. We used to all make a beeline for whoever we were picking on that day and beat the crap out of them for the lols. This was kind of a cool little puzzle like that. Remember the first time we came here, we were kind of like, what the fuck? We were clicking around with these, and then someone finally noticed that there were these on the floor, and we were like, oh, well. And then it all clicked, you could say. And you got this little thing, a little hand with a icky ball in it. Now for the final boss. How am I doing all my artifacts? Just the leg. Okay, let's go find the unfortunate leg. Spoilers, the final boss has it probably. We need to go down there. I like the ice effect that you can see through the water. Then you go here and you can still kind of see it, but not nearly as clear. Yeah, we gotta go down there. Splish. Swim, 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 swim. Also, this is where you will find the um, house item. It's one of these um, braziers. Alright, what did this guy do? This guy did something. What was it? I don't remember. He did something that was annoying, but now that we are not that weak, we can just destroy him. Like that. Yeah, he, he emotes that, and that's when whatever it was that he did happened. I cannot remember what it was that he did, though. But yeah, here is the house item right here. Let's take the brazier. And then you need to click on this if you're working on the, um, the uh, what's that stupid quest called? I can't think of his name. Um, the Shadow Odyssey. And here's the chest of tangible memories. But I don't have the key, and I don't remember where the key is. Or who the key was, I should say. Let's look on the map. Hmm. I don't remember what 
the name of the key mob was. They usually have a name that you can you can uh, identify fairly easily. I believe this is another daily shard quest right here, but we don't have that one. Not sure what the hell that is. I believe this is the box that holds the rune of fear. I think. Huh. Well, let's just do a quick look. I still don't understand why she uses a Valkyrie voiceover. Although I suppose it makes sense. I mean, she's a lamey, and that is a pretty lame mistake, so. Get away from me, yucky ghost boy. The corpse is probably already despawned if we've already killed it. I want to say it was in one of those, um, Mausoleums that we had to kill to spawn the zombie dude. Or the, not zombie, but the golem dude. Wandering experiment? That sounds promising. Experiment? Are you the wandering experiment? No? Dear waypoint, knock that off. That could very well be it. Behold, okay, yeah, it's the wandering experiment. Okay, let's go back and get that shard chest because why not? I'll just wait for the key. I might as well make use of it. So that's the zone in its entirety. It's not too hard. I mean, it was kind of tough the first couple times we did it when we didn't know what the hell we were doing, but it's pretty easy to figure out. Except for this one was kind of tricky because you have to attack the urns, but you have to attack the little floaty things to make the urns attackable. And when you first come in, there's no real indication that you would ever attack those urns because they're all non-attackable. And of course, like any good adventurer, we walked in to start shooting everything that we could kill. And it was just chance that one of us turned and noticed that one of the urns was suddenly a targetable, attackable, killable item. And then it clicked. Oh, kill the mobs. To activate the urns, kill the urns. Swallow the, f the spider to catch the fly. Etc. Etc. And this guy did give us a little bit of trouble because of that emote he, he did, but I cannot remember what it was that happened when he emoted. Behold, the power of platinum. <gasps> no, I only got 85 gold. What will I do? Oh, he spawned this loser. Get out of here, loser. Ah, just get out of here. Look at me flapping my wings underwater. That's not how you swim, idiot. She's like, yes, it is. Dipshit. At least it is if you're a dragon person. They're like flippers. Transformable wings. That's kind of cool. The Arakin, they're, they're, they're innovators ahead of their time. That or dragons are just giant perverts. I mean, think about it. Have you ever walked down the street and just looked over and saw a poodle and thought, you know, that's a really sexy poodle. I wish I could turn into a poodle just so I could have sex with it. That's basically what the story of the Arakan is. It's like a black dragon was just sitting there one day. He's like, whoa, that elf is pretty hot. If I could turn into an elf, I could do her. And boom, the Arakan were born. What the fuck? Hello! I have news concerning the anathema. Here's the artifacts. Dun -dun. One platinum, 60 gold. Alright, and there you have it. 
And then there's all these quests that also have to do with those zones that I still haven't done on this character. I should probably do that one of these days. But next time, I don't know where we'll be. I'm starting to run out of ideas because, I mean, the heritage quests all over the place, but a lot of them I have to go actually get drops to start, like the one in the, the Sinking Sands. I'd love to do that one for you, but that one... Um, yeah. I have a million gold bounty on my head right now, wanted for the murder of hundreds, if not thousands, of wandering madmen. Yeah, so... We'll be somewhere. Where that place is, I cannot say. I'm basically just kind of going on inspiration as it hits, when it hits, if it does. So peace out, everyone, and I'll catch you next time. Laters.